Uh, so uh, happy April. <laughs> we, uh, we have wrapped up the March deliverables. Thank you all for uh, keeping that page up to date, updating your progress. Uh, I know we're all learning and it's going to get better every month. Um, but the, the deliverables are important. And I think the community has reacted positively uh, to this monthly list that we go through um, every week. Uh, it, it's a much more kind of granular and um, I guess useful way to look at what we're, we're all working on versus those kind of high level product launches. So we'll, we'll continue doing this, um, but it, yeah, it's important that we keep that list up to date and we can go through them on these calls. So let me share my screen. Okay. Uh, so last week in the office, um, uh, a lot of the folks in the Bay Area went through their deliverables. So I wanted to spend, um, I guess, the first half going through deliverables for people who weren't in the office, uh, some of our remote friends. And then if there's time, we can cover some of the locals as well. Okay. So let's kick it off with Yuri. Is Yuri here? Uh, there he is. Hi, hi guys. Do you hear me? Okay, with my. Yep, we can hear you. Okay, okay. Uh, so my uh, April deliverables uh, is uh, Horizon Bridge security improvements and improvements monitoring system. It's uh, several items. Uh, we have discussed this with Ganesha. A little bit later, I will add a special Notion page with all items. Uh, at whole, it will be uh, better monitoring on balances, uh, remove, uh, uh, extend validators amount, uh, minimum validators amount to uh, sign uh, operations. Uh, we will increase it to uh, five. Yes, yeah, so uh, this system should be more, se more, se more secure. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, so for this system uh, will be important to that all validators working stable. So we will need better monitoring uh, and monitoring all balances for each validator, monitoring uh, a good RPC connection, ATC. So all this I will do uh, this week and next week. So I think it will be my main goal uh, for next two weeks, half of April. Uh, also, I will work on uh, BTC Bridge Dark uh, Temp together with Sergey and uh, validators DAO he proposals. Uh, this uh, goal we have discussed with Leo and this from uh, uh, it is uh, tasks from uh, our community. So part of this already done and uh, part will be done in this month. Yeah, it's improvements for staking dashboard. Got it. Uh, yeah, Yuri, let, let's just use, we, we need to be very specific about what it is, um, what the deliverable is, right? So improvements is, is too difficult to, to measure. Uh, mm -hmm. whether it's like number of improvements and, and it should be linked, right? Like every, everything here, every item um, should be linked to a public page where we can look, you know, uh, learn more about the context. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, I will discuss this one more time with Ganesha and we'll add the Notion page and uh, improve my text. Great. With, uh, with current metrics. Thanks, Yuri. All right, Peter, you're up. All right, so <clears throat> three things I'm focused on for this month is uh, to close three of the deals currently in the pipeline. Um, design unique offering for two key verticals and then execute uh, engagement with RG and contract with PQ. And, and those are not public. Uh, okay. So my overall goal this year is to help grow Harmony 10X. And so this is kind of in, in, uh, in route to hopefully doing that. Nice. 
Thank you, Peter. Uh, Jenya. Hey, all right, uh, I will continue work on uh, Trustless Bridge. So basically two components, uh, UI and uh, client slash relayer. And also some work on Explore because we have uh, many demands and many things in the uh, backlog. That's it. Okay, good. Uh, same with this, Jenny. Just let's make sure that we, we have very specific deliverables here. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I can be more specific. I'll extend it. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. Uh, Soph is not here. Dan, Wolf. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I just connected. <laughs> um, um, working closely with the ADAO, so I'll be working much more closely with Daniel, Sean and others regarding the Ambassador DAO, doing all I can to help them fulfil all of their goals throughout April. Um, with regards to April AMAs, we just kicked off a new series of AMAs back to the projects. Um, that will see us host more of those throughout the month of April, revisiting some of the older projects um, that are already on Harmony and seeing what they've been up to in the time since they launched and anything new that they've got to offer. Um, we just recently did that with Sonic Swap. Um, and then the weekly DAO Governor AMAs or Q&A sessions is something that's a work in progress at the minute. but. We'll hopefully aim to host a governor from a DAO each week and give let them give updates and details on their progress and current aims and plans to the community. Okay, great. Thank you, Dan. Uh, let's see, Adrian, you went in the office last week, so let's hear your updates. Um, I am going to, so this is directly involving content because I do a lot of filming of our live events. I'm going to attempt to create essentially an, uh, an Apple style keynote um, polished from front to back. And that way we can, and it will be modular so we can essentially use it for anybody uh, plugging in whatever we need to plug in. So hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, also gonna be comp uh, filming the actual production of a series of one wallet videos. And lastly, um, Paris is not until Q3, but all of the work for Paris is in Q2. Um, so I'm gonna be involved with Paris and I'm also going to be um, doing some Ghana uh, work as well, so. Okay. Yeah. Again, with this, uh, it's too vague, right? Like, let's let's be specific about what the deliverables are. Deliverables for uh, for April. But we can we can chat about this uh, later, Adrian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is Abby on the call? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Abby. Hey. Hey, everybody. Um, so my, my focus for this month is, um, I think the highlight for, for the Europe team is definitely going to be the two events, uh, ETH Amsterdam being the big one. And then there's also one preceding it, which is Paris Blockchain Week. Um, Paris Blockchain Week is more business style conference sort of an event. Uh, I would assume also since I worked with Paris Blockchain Week before, I would assume that there's going to be lesser number of developers and projects compared to um, eat Amsterdam and also looking at their looking at the ticket prices and the sponsorship packages I imagine that uh, it's more business style uh, but we will still we are still going there I think we're a team of three so far uh, at Paris blockchain week um, uh, but the main focus would be eat Amsterdam so we are organizing so far we we have about four to five side events already um, uh, in place and I, we, 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 we will try to get more, or we will try to organize more if that makes sense. Um, we also have about uh, 10 to 12 uh, members from Blue Dab joining us. We've been in touch with Amy, and we've also got uh, about 10 ZKU scholars joining us at Amsterdam. So that's going to be, so we're a team of 27 to be precise for ETH Amsterdam, and that's going to be our focus. For me personally, I aim to get, be engaging with at least 10 grantees uh, and of course, as a team, it has to be much higher. Um, 
uh, and also I think the, for this quarter, um, one wallet being our MVP or, or flagship product, um, we will try to ride the wave of some of the bigger campaigns that you guys have planned on the America side. Uh, and if, if, if the timing is perfect, then we'll try to ride that wave in DBWS, which is Paris Blockchain Week and Meet Amsterdam. So those two are on the event side, uh, apart from the daily deliverables like uh, content, social media, and newsletter, uh, which in fact for this month for, for March is going out today since everybody's given a pass. So that's, uh, that should be out today, the newsletter and the thread. Uh, and finally, I think the last one would be about uh, just try to re reinvent the content wheel, uh, especially in terms of repurposed content. Sometimes I, 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 I feel like I don't want to be too rep repetitive with um, repurposing content, especially for my off hours. So what I what I did, which which I think was a good success, was try to visualize data, uh, those data visualization graphics, infographics from i think the last one we did was in ecosystem growth and i think we can do much more uh yeah I'll, I'm, I'm working on that and i think we'll i'm also I, i'm sure that there, there are many on the team who can contribute in terms of uh, ideas for this uh, data visualization but that's going to be my three focuses for three focus areas for this month uh, and i imagine the euro team is going to be busy this month also with uh, with paris blockchain week with eth amsterdam and also uh, the preparations for ETC. That's All right. Yeah. Thanks, Abby. Yep. Danny. So, yeah, we're going to film the One Wallet video coming up. Me and Adrian will get together this week to decide what days we're going to film that in the next coming weeks. And we're also going to Ghana at the end of the month. So, got to figure out where how we can find the story and you know deliver the right content while we're in Ghana so you got to create a treatment for a video and ETH Mexico City you know I'm, I'm taking more of an interest in Latin American events so I'm already in contact with a few people in in uh, who live in Mexico City so that's coming up in Q3 but got to do the planning so uh, with all of these, please make sure that you guys link each item to a public page. Uh, Hakwan, are you on the call? I don't think so. He's probably asleep uh, in Japan. Uh, next up, we have Essa. Hello. Okay. Um... So my first one is going to be published grants playbook. Um, I spoke with Jack. I'll be working with him and um, trying on that. And I think that'll give me a lot more experience with, um, with understanding what grants are too. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then identify five candidates for events lead. Um, we're kind of, we're looking for somebody who is going to be taking our vision of the events team and executing um, an experience for a community to walk away with on our events. So right now I have three, potentially four people um, that I've been spoken to about. I have one call this afternoon to talk to somebody about that as well. Um, I think we need to clearly set, uh, Adrian and I speaking this morning about clearly setting those mandates. Um, and so we're looking forward to that. Um, and then creating book structure, bookkeeping structures for events. That, our first chapter that should be done by the end of this week, by Friday. Um, and we'll test it out with other events and see what we need to do to change that. And that's it. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Max, are you on the call? I thought I saw Max. No? Um, yes, you're here. Oh, there he's you here. are, yeah. yeah. He's there. Max, can you hear us? We can come back to Max. Yeah, we'll come back. Uh, const, uh... Uh, hello. Uh, right now we have some problems with uh, block insertion and uh, my primary goal is to optimize it. Uh, we, we assume that we can insert more than uh, one block at once and it will help us. 
the second is uh, to, to expose updates, uh, just some uh, improvements to it. And third is uh, cross link uh, signals. Uh, if a problem is sometimes in them, we can uh, lose them. So I have to resend them and I'll guess it will fix it. So that's all. Okay. Thank you. Brian. Yes, um, this is, uh, this is uh, going to be mapped out today uh, between, between Give and I and uh, possibly Stephen, but essentially we need to, um, with the blue metaverse, there's a bunch of metaverses in our ecosystem at present, uh, and we need to sort of see where where we are with them, where they are in terms of uh, either being on testnet or mainnet, and how to have assets be able to translate from one to the other, and how the links between them are going to link to our portal. So we need to uh, to figure out all of that, as well as you know, to try and usher through. Um, ones that projects that are on testnet currently or projects that have gotten grants or applied of grants to help get them ushered out and to get them released. Great. Thank you. Max, are you back? Hey, Gabe. It's Max. Can you hear me? Yes. The first task is the time-based transaction ordering. This should hopefully help reduce some network spam from arbitrage bots. The second two tasks uh, are fairly small. One of them is the gas price RPC estimate. Instead of something like 30, we've, we've been giving out fairly large numbers. Uh, the second part of this one is uh, for validators where validators or explorer nodes who, who are complaining from their cloud providers that Harmony is doing a lot of uh, private network scanning. So we'll turn that off hopefully with a flag. And the last one is a node out of sync issue where we noticed last week that non shard zero nodes had fallen out of sync with shard zero and since they were lagging the, the we, we lost consensus in shard one and shard two and uh, this i guess this is the bigger task for me for the months to figure out why this is happening okay thank you okay moving on to the fellows z with tom uh, tom was in the office last week oh sorry sorry yeah oh i think his uh his has changed a bit, that's why. Oh, okay. Uh, we can come back to, um, to, to these. Yeah, I want to make sure we cover everyone else. Right. I'll be very brief. Uh, so Coachella is happening in about two weeks. So I think there are all together probably about 15 of us will be at the Coachella Music House. And the goal there is really more about, it's, I think the plan has changed a little bit. Um, so the core idea there is really to bring additional brand awareness for both Harmony and One Wallet. Uh, social NFT uh, is linked. Uh, is a pretty exciting project. It's a, a whole set of NFT that's generated by GANs network using on-chain data. Uh, and then you guys can click through it. There are some visual uh, kind of uh, cues in terms of the direction we're going. So the idea is really to announce this at Coachella and kind of really make it public to the general Harmony community. Uh, so that's the second uh, initiative. Um, the third, which is probably close and dear to your heart, give uh, open source in one wallet. Uh, uh, April 24th is a date. Uh, so I think we're on track to get there. So that's one while open sourcing. Awesome. Thanks, E. Yep. Uh, okay, Aaron's not around. Uh, Victor. Oh, hey guys. Um, so I've got three tasks this, um, this uh, in April. First one is uh, getting the Genosis multi-sig to staging. The, um, staging. So that involves uh, forking the Kind of multi seek in Gnosis and trying to launch that inside Harmony. Uh, so just bringing on the new features of uh, Gnosis uh, that's missing in our current multi seek A second one is to complete the AFSCAN API docs uh, for Explorer. Uh, so our goal is to um, get our Explorer to, to have uh, expose AFSCAN API um, functionality so others can use it quite easily um, interchangeably with code that uses AFSCAN. Uh, and then finally, the uh, last one is to close off some uh, high impact explorer issues. Uh, so the target uh, last one was eight. So I'm just moving that to 10. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm doing this, this cycle. Awesome. Thanks, Victor. Uh, Sergey, Sergey here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, Sergey is uh, unavailable. Okay. So 
Yeah, I can uh, add some comments. Uh, sure. About this. So Sergey will work on uh, completing uh, Horizon Bridge UI Dark Tem uh, from last month's goal. Also integrate uh, Dark UI Tem to BTC Bridge and uh, launch uh, BTC Bridge uh, mobile version. So all uh, all these goals is uh, for front end tasks. Right. Front-end improvements for our projects, bridges. Okay. Uh, Teyasvi, I don't think is here. Uh, Devin. I can quickly. Oh, yeah, go quickly talk about Tej. Uh, as a solidity developer, so uh, for this one, the main tasks are on the British bridge. Uh, uh, some of the key features uh, being like a uh, water liquidation for under collateralization. And uh, also, uh, Walls have asked for the second feature of uh, retiring, going on, on and off uh, from the bridge. Uh, that's second feature. And the, finally, uh, to improve the collateralization, uh, we plan to support the staking and delegation. So he's working on the implementing this feature in the smart contracts. So these three things uh, mainly focus for him this one. Right. Thanks, Ganesh. Uh, Devin. Oh, yeah. So starting with DAO tools, uh, the DAO ops team absolutely crushed it last month. So we've doubled from five to 10 DAO tools that we're looking to bring on chain uh, this month. Um, we did crush it. Thank you, Devin. Sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but you're right. We, we crushed it. It was awesome. So yeah, we're, uh, we're going to push ourselves even harder this month. Um, and we've already got a really good lead. So um, then the next thing that I'm trying to do uh, is onboard 25 Harmony team uh, members to Opolis. Uh, Opolis is a DAO tool as well, uh, and I'm not saying here that there's any official partnership or on-chain collaboration with Opolis at this moment. It's just my goal to bring them on-chain to Harmony and have 25, at least 25 team members uh, utilizing it. Um, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with Opolis, it is uh, the ability to uh, essentially have... You are your own employer in a sense that you can provide health insurance to yourself through Opolis, uh, proof of uh, employment. Uh, you know, you, have, you give yourself a W-2 so you can buy a house and this and that. Um, and you can pay yourself in uh, pretty much any currency that you choose, uh, which is uh, all pain points uh, currently for uh, 1099 contracts and self-employed workers. So uh, lowers that barrier. And then the last one would be uh, publish a RASCI for the One DAO conference. Uh, so this is something Adrian and I are primarily focused on. Um, and this uh, RASCI will be the responsibility matrix uh, for what this conference, this flagship DAO conference will look like. Um, so we're really excited to get through all these. Awesome. Thanks, Devin. Mm -hmm. uh, Xiaopeng uh, is not here. Leo's not here either, right? He's, he's off this week. Yeah. Uh, Nick is not on the call. Let's move on to uh, some of our part-timers. Rachel. Hi, everybody. Okay, yeah. So my first deliverable, um, I'm working with Devin to onboard 10 new DAO tools. Um, just to piggyback on what Devin said, uh, we're really excited about Opolis. Uh, that way we can implement uh, benefits for Web3 workers, which is so essential um, in this space. Um, we are in conversation and we have calls uh, this week to onboard four new DAO tools. Uh, so we are in good shape. I, I feel to hit 10 new down tools this month. Um, and my second deliverable is to scale for Ambassador DAO um, to 30 meetups this month. That was in our initial proposal, um, which I feel is it's pretty ambitious, uh, being that we are down one signatory. Um, but me and Miguel are going to challenge ourselves and we're going to try for 30 because that was in our initial proposal. And uh, hopefully we can get um, another signatory onboarded. Um, and lastly, I'm assisting the DAO operations team in getting 50 DAOs using one reputation. Um, I have to set up a call with Colin, but to my understanding, one rep is about 75% completed. Uh, so we should be able to implement that this month. Awesome. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah. Uh, Ed's not on the call. Rosa, and you haven't updated this yet, but you want to just walk us through your three items? Yes. So three items is going to be like PR, as you know. The thing is, I cannot edit it, but I will. I, I don't have like the permission with my personal okay. name. Uh, the other, we already have on border, on border Jorge, 
we plan, and it's on his uh, own page, to do uh, weekly Twitter spaces in Spanish, plus uh, like a scheduled calendar, once a month community in Mexico gathering. It's going to be our uh, TGIs for Mexico and also content based on artists and NFTs, which is his previous expertise. I would like to introduce him maybe next week formally. And the other person I want to introduce is Jose Couto, which I think you already know him. He's doing Spanish content and PR in Spain, but also traveling to LADAM and he's uh, joining us today in the call. So, and hey, we Jose. also have him on the, on, uh, on the contributors page. So Hi, that's everyone. all from my side. Hey, good to have you here, Jose. Thank you. Yep. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Okay, going back up now, Tom. Yes, yes. Yeah, I got a messenger uh, from Stephen uh, yesterday. He said that we uh, should planning a, a two event like the um, leadership event and also the China US uh, crypto event. So that we want to combine like the April and May together. And, oh, is it already updated? Yes. Oh yes, some, yes, some are already updated, yes. Okay, and, and the rest? And the rest is uh, to uh, schedule a performance coaching and the leadership session. Yeah, so performance uh, coach is a it, it's a, a job that uh, uh, to help the employees to get the best and improve the performance. So it's a, I will prepare for the slides and uh, give a presentation on that. Okay, great. Yes, another is uh, for the ten area business business uh, business leaders, as including the partnership and also the investors. We engage them through the TGIs and uh, some other private event. Got it. Okay, thank you, Tom. Let's do a couple more, uh, and and then we can move on to other other items. Um, RJ. Hey, okay, so for my uh, deliverable for April. First of all, uh, I'm going to revamp the protocol roadmap. Um, I mean, going on forward, not just for this year, but maybe even next year. Uh, it basically lay out all the uh, missing component that we're going to do for the protocol kind of uh, features and improvement and um, also uh, issue fixes. So like including um, like cross shard messaging uh, system, like also like incentive for the um, uh, leader and validators, updated incentive for leader validators, all of these details. And also we're gonna uh, look up like all the other kind of a major blockchains kind of, kind of um, features to see whether there's like new um, like direction that we can follow things like whether we can make our shards like a data availability layer for uh, to support all the other layer two solutions. So that's for the protocol um, roadmap. The other one is continue the signature collection um, launch. So the code still need more audit and is the core consensus feature change. So that need very careful code review. And uh, also we need careful testing on that so that in, within April, the goal is to um, launch it on mainnet. For the Quasha messaging uh, is continue working with the mutual knowledge system to start the implementation phase. And um, the implementation may take up to two months. And also we, we want to leave like more time, maybe an additional two months for testing and the iteration and fixes. So within April, the goal is to finish about half of the implementation, which is mainly on the changes within EVM for the cross-shard messaging system, yeah. Okay. Thank you, RJ. Uh, Ganesha. Sure. Uh, major time I'll be spending on uh, preparing the Ethereum Bridge uh, launch. Uh, there are several items. Uh, I created the uh, details inside the page. Uh, 
Um, and the second one is uh, Bitcoin Bridge uh, features, like I mentioned, uh, working with the Tage uh, Solidity Developer on uh, things like uh, vault liquidation for under collateralization, uh, retired feature, and also staking for the Bitcoin Bridge. And the uh, bridge security improvements, uh, again, uh, details are inside the page, mainly increasing the uh, bridge, current bridge validators number, ensuring their security uh, protocol is followed, and also some of the better monitoring uh, working with Zuri. Uh, those are the three items for April month. OK, great. Um, so we can probably uh stop there um uh, for folks watching you can read through this on harmony.one slash april um there'll be one for every month you can look at last month's uh updates on slash march uh so so do go in and for everyone else here please go through and uh link to appropriate public pages update your percentages um work with your managers to kind of tweak and refine uh, some of these deliverables. Okay. What else? I, oh, oh, some hands going up. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I think uh, Boris came up first. Yeah, oh, yeah. Boris beat me to it. Oh. Ah, sorry, Sam. I will be short. I just want to introduce a, a new contributor, Juan. Juan Bertrand, he's based in Madrid, Spain. He's been working with us. We met him in Lisbon. He's been collaborating. He's been a validator for a while. So he's been collaborating with us a lot. He started collaborating quickly in Lisbon, then helped a lot in, in Denver and helped an extreme lot on Brazil. And he, he did a, a workshop and he has, in he, his past life, he was very good at evaluate, evaluating a proposal for investment for big uh, uh, consulting firms. So I he will be helping a little uh, with the grants we are processing all over the world, and he will also will help to coordinate the stuff in Europe. So welcome Juan, thank you. Welcome Juan. Welcome Juan. Um, Hello to everyone, and thank you everyone. Happy to be here. All right. I'm so glad we have at least one Juan on our one team because it's oh, one yeah. and one. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. That was terrible. Come on, please laughing. I got I like you to laugh. I like it, Sam. <laughs> Thank how, you. Thank how you, many one? Friends. Okay. All right, Sam. Um, with that, I have two you're up. Yes, yeah, with that, I have two things. Really quickly, I also want to introduce a new contributor that we have, Chalk Ram, that you guys can see um, there on your screen. Chalk is joining the Dow Ops team to work on Dow onboarding. Um, he's going to be very, very uh, helpful to be bringing on the new Taoists and help training them in how to Dow and how not to Dow. And honestly, what this will build is actually a really great pipeline of informing our community and, and bridging and growing our community um, and helping everybody understand what it means to be a Harmonaut. Um, so Chuck, welcome, welcome. Excited to have you here. Um, and he's amazing. We've seen him, you've probably seen him in East Denver. You've seen him in NFDLA. You've seen him in, in, in uh, NFT NYC. He's been around. Um, yeah, glad to be here for sure. Thank you, sir. Welcome, Chuck. <laughs> Welcome, Chuck. Uh, the other thing I want to announce is every Tuesday morning at 9.15, we open up our Dow operations call. So any uh, Dow governors or what we call them now Dow signatories can join that. Um, if you're interested in joining, please send your email over to Rachel. Um, Rachel also has her uh, a post on Twitter pinned. You can send her a DM there as well. Um, and then I will add you to the meeting invite so you can join us on the DAO operations call. Excellent. Yes. Rachel? That is what I was going to say. <laughs> Great. Anyone else? Lee? Sure. We'll, we'll end on a high note. So. Uh, as everyone knows, we finished our Q1 performance review. Uh, it is now public at harmony.one slash perf. It's also, also immutable. The block has, uh, has been finalized. And 
Uh, just wanted to take a moment to appreciate everyone for participating. And also, uh, it was a close race at the top, but we do want to highlight our two, uh, based on both the peer review from Coordinate and the manager's uh, review as well, we want to highlight our two top performers for Q1 and uh, give them a chance to uh, share a little bit. So first up is Adrian. Woo! Thanks. Um, what an honor um, to be um, thought so highly by your peers. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone. But honestly, um, all this, you know, whatever praise or whatever cannot um, happen unless um, we thank everyone else who actually helped uh, along the way. All of the people who, um, you know who you are in Denver who really helped make that thing happen. Um, it really, it wasn't one person, it was a team effort. Um, and moving forward, I think we have a lot of work to do to, to try and replicate that again, if not beat it. I think we should always be striving to do better than we did last time. So even though that was amazing um, and we had a great quarter, um, I definitely have my eyes set for every quarter after. So I'll continue to keep hustling um, for the squad. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. It's, it's a real honor to be um, selected um, from you guys. So I appreciate it. Congrats, Adrian. Well deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. Okay. And the second person is Daniel. Blockchain. A bit unexpected. Um, uh, thank you. Um, and like Adrian said, I really could have done it with everyone else that I'm I've been working with over the past uh, few months. Man, time has really flown. Uh, by, um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to say. It was a bit unexpected here, uh, but thank you again. And uh, just gonna aim to do more, do better, um, work harder, work smarter. So thank you. Good job, Daniel. All right. Anything else from you, uh, Lee? No, all good. All right. Any, anyone else before we go to breakout rooms? Announcements, news, thoughts? Okay. Okay, everyone. Uh, have a great week. I'm going to send you to your breakout rooms now. Take care. <laughs>